Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for today's tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to put together the Magic Eye die set. So I absolutely love this one. So it's kinetic, it's part of my new collection called Moving Pages. So we have lots of kinetic fun things to play with. So this is the Magic Eye. So you basically take two photographs or two images. You can even use this in a greetings card on the front so you can have different words like happy birthday appear and then a lovely picture underneath but basically it transitions from one photograph or image to another just like that so this is my prototype from using one of the test dies but I have the actual die set here now and um, I've done some printing already so let me just grab that out So these were my two images. I've die cut them out already and I'll be showing you exactly how, which ones I used for that. So I've just used thick cardstock for this, but if you can get photo paper, nice thick sturdy photo paper, that would be even better. So I have printed these out um, using my printer software. Basically highlight two of your photographs. You can right click on it and press print. That will, that will bring up the printing box and then you can choose different um, styles of uh, photographs to be printed out onto your paper. So I've chosen these two. So these measure 13.3 or 4 millimeters, centimeters, sorry. I'm so used to working in inches right now. And this is 18.4. Let's do that in inches. Again, if you need a full tutorial on how I print this out, let me know in the comments down below and I will do that. That's five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So just select your two images and it will print them out on that onto one page. Okay, so here is the die set. So here we have uh, two wheels here. We even have poke out holes here just in case it doesn't come out easy. So we have two of those. We have one little circle for the back and then we have our frame and then we have all of these little tabs here. So I've got everything die cut out already. So I'm going to show you where they go. So we have that circle there. Oh, that's the off cut. And we have the frame just here. And then we have these two. These are slightly different. So we have the top one up there as you can see we have those funny little things in the middle and then we have this one here with might be easier if I turn it over these kind of like legs or hooks either side for that one okay so let's get this together it looks complicated but after you've done it once or twice it's so easy and it's actually very um what's the word uh, straight not not straightforward but I'll think of the word it will come to me during the tutorial but um, not intentional ah the word has escaped me into it is intuitional perhaps maybe might be the word okay so basically we have the ones with the legs at the bottom and I have positioned the orientation of these photographs with these tabs more or less near the top so that when we twist it and turn it, you know, we don't have a sideways photo. So keep these tabs here when you die cut it out towards the left hand side and near the top. Okay, so here we have the legs. I'm going to call these the let. This is the leggy one. And this one here is the hooks in the center. Now each hook here you can see that is going to tuck into each leg there and as you go around it may try to misalign just keep going it will work itself out and it's super easy so I'm going to take my first one here and I'm going to slot it in there just to start off with I'm going to go to the next one now and find the next slot and I'm going to slot that in Watch this again if you really need to. There's the next one. This one's tried to slot into the same hole, so I'm going to take that back out again. And we're going to go into the next one. There we go. Again, if you want to have a practice run just on 
just die cut some normal um, cardstock and have a practice run you won't be wasting it because you can always stamp on it afterwards to make your images do the next one and then the last one there we go so align your circles doesn't matter if it's all all funny like that just make sure that the outside bits of the circles are lined together now if you try to move this one like this it won't like it because the center needs to be held really still and together so for that you're going to be needing a mini brad so let's grab a mini brad this doesn't want to unlock it's supposed to slide there we go I'll take one of these I've got all look at the size of these these are massive and then you've got these little diddy ones I got this from Amazon it closes all right okay so pop your brad through the center hole here turn it over Now this is what this little circle is for, it holds everything in place and then just splay out your the brad legs, there we go, give it a test. Now the thicker the cardstock the better this will work, okay, and just keep going like that. And if you want to you can make a few more layers of this frame to layer on top of this part here and basically that will um, give it a little bit of extra strength as well if you really want to you can add another one of these frames to the underside here for this tab or you can just die cut another one of these trim that out and then glue this top section here onto that tab so I will jazz this up and make it pretty um, off camera but I just wanted to get the basics down for you and again there's going to be plenty more tutorials on the moving pages uh, collection including this die set as well so if you're wondering about the photograph that's my daughter she was I think she was just two just gone two two and a half maybe doing her Easter egg hunt in her nanny's garden so my mother-in-law's garden so we a little bit of an Easter hunt there. Line that up. And as you can see, she got quite a few eggs that day. Okay, so let's try again. If you want to, you can pop in a little arrow like that obviously make yours nicer than mine so this is going to be glued down now onto your page I only add the glue to this outside section here the the rim there and this tab here okay and then that's going to turn like that and the photograph is going to transition just like that that's really good okay so let's pop this into the album I'm going to replace this one with some sturdier this was on some cheap photo paper um, so I'm going to redo that one so let's keep going this one will go here I'm only going to add a little bit of glue because I do I have got some photo paper on order so I'm going to replace all of these this was just on ordinary cardstock just so I'm just going to add little bit of glue there so it will be easy for me to take that off I'm just going to pop that there I'm just going to open it quickly just to make sure that I have my photograph more or less in a good place so we're going to turn that just like that there we go and then when we close that we have that like that okay and there we have our transitioning image I absolutely love that it really adds that extra bit of um, I'm not good with words today just the interactiveness of your mini albums and your cards as well so it's a lot of fun so that is the magic eye die set if you like this one give me a thumbs up 
everything that I've used to date will be listed down below and I've got plenty more tutorials on mini albums coming up especially for this year it's gonna be a lot of uh, memory making this year so make sure you're subscribed you can click the icon in the corner and that will subscribe to you so thank you very much for joining me today and I'll see you again next time